Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Marker 8 Deluxe. Also, the Marker 8 theme that's playing right now has part of the um, Super Mario Kart theme in it somewhere. I can't remember where it is exactly. But it's definitely there. It's worth listening to. Anyway, let's get back into it. And let's get going and get some more stuff done. Let's go, Peach. And we unlocked a... The Duke, apparently, which is a bike type of car, because obviously bikes control a little bit differently. Um, but we're gonna stick with regular cart just to just to show that this is probably the best option to get into the game and just win every track, pretty much. Stark up, let's go. Sunshine Airport. Nice to see sunshines or shine sprites in a game again, other than Bowser's Fury. But just like actual shine sprites, because they're like actual shine sprites, you know what I'm talking about. They're not uh, cat shines, they're regular shines. Also, there's uh, Luma Air. I just love when. I just. Ah. Uh, just all the different brands and how they actually like tie in different games to this one. So good. We've also got these things here, which I haven't seen before. These will come in different shapes and and sizes, but basically if you touch them, they boost you a little bit forward. If you, it's a, it's kind of works the same kind of way as if you bump into somebody on an anti-gravity wall, where you both get a boost. Anyway, let me get past this, no, maybe. You can also break those boxes by driving into them and then possibly sometimes stuff pops out, but you probably don't want to break those anyway, just because they slow you down. Okay, let's go. Propeller Toad Transport. Okay, that's what that stands for. I was wondering what PTT standard for, but it's Propeller Toad's Transport. Also, I love this bit here where you take off, just like with the planes over the top as well. Oh dear. Go, 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 go. And then you go over here and the planes are taking off but you're going down. This is so cool. Hit that. There was a mushroom that came out of that but that's probably not going to help me. Okay, go, 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 go. Man, some of these songs sound like I don't. I, I guess I don't pay attention to the music that much, but now that I am paying attention to the music, it just sounds really good to have the music speed up in the last lap. Well, so I'm probably not the only one who feels this kind of thing. But whenever the music's like faster or more, um, like upbeat or I don't know how to ex explain it. When the music's more, like, going all out, makes me feel like I should be going all out with my, the way I'm playing, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's that one done. Let's move on to the next level. Do Dolphin Shoals. And there's an eel. Which doesn't look that terrifying, to be honest. And there's toads with snorkels on. Okay, let's go. 
some of these levels, like these tracks, look like they make really cool. Oh my god, it's a dolphin. Like, things up there at the top of the screen. Some of these tracks feel like they would make really cool level themes in the actual Mario games. Oh, there's, an, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's a ray. Also, we can bounce, like, do tricks off of the up, 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 up water things. The currents. And we can also use that as a way of shortcutting a few places. And we can use the top of the eel as a, a ramp to do tricks off of. To make ourselves go a little bit faster, possibly. I might be wrong about that, but anyway. That's the first lap. How did that not hit my other one? Sometimes it feels like... Um, it feels like uh, shells can go through bananas sometimes if they're not like, actually on screen. Which is just really strange. Anyway, we could go through here, which is the way you're supposed to get over to here, but I, I, I usually take the fastest way, which is going across. Okay. Just combo off of that. Almost like this thing up here where you just have to drift the whole way through. Oh, blue shell, why? Red shell, why? Well, yeah, I had invisibility frames, so it's fine. Go, 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 go. Oh, there goes my shell. Because somebody used the boo to steal an item. I feel like it's... Am I wrong about it? It's been a while since we last had a boo power-up that did that. I think I'm crazy. Possibly. You know what, let's take another... Let's take another path if I can. Nope, I can't. Because I got slowed down by things. And I can't even do tricks. Now I can. There we go. Have to actually be at a high enough speed to do tricks, apparently. Oh, fell off. That's fine. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, another one. And that gets rid of my... My... Uh, I don't even know that hole was there. Anyway. I believe if a bob -omb is like, not counting down that quickly, and somebody gets, gets close to it, I believe it goes off faster when somebody's nearby. Possibly, I might be wrong about that, but that's just the information I've been fed. I can't even remember what I was talking about before, it's fine. Electrodome, another great level. That really stands out. And the music is also going to be pretty good once we actually get to it. Here we go. Also, I love the trails that we leave on this thing. It's more of these boost things that we can bump into. Or kind of just lightly touch. And then when we're on this bit, it has a screen effect, which looks pretty cool. Go, 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 go. And... Does that sound effect there as well? We also have to be careful of these prior plants here, which are dancing to music. Man, some of the lighting effects in this place look really cool. Like, the, the prior plants actually have, are like, made up of those lights, I guess. On, on the whole... Well, all over them, I guess. It's just really cool. Go, 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 go. I believe we can also see 
like faint glows of previous trails that we've had in some places because we also leave like marks on the track where we've been. Oh my goodness, lightning, why? Ray of lights, let's go. Okay, let's go. One more lap to go. Okay. Oh my gosh, lightning, why? Blue shell, why? Why? I got Mario carded. Except nobody's near enough to pass me anyway, so it's fine. It's only a true Mario Kart if people pass you all at the last second. Or you pass everyone at the last second. Something like that. Let's go on the green path this time, which is pretty much the same as the pink path as well. Missed the mushroom, that's fine. I feel like this is actually slightly slower. Might be wrong about that, but anyway. They're slowly catching up. Why are there two prior plants here? I don't think there's supposed to be two there. Maybe there is. Maybe I've just never noticed that. Anyway, let's drop those and let's go. Next course. Mount Warrior. And this is a very interesting track because this is one of the tracks that are different from a regular track. So, with tracks like this, it's not a loop. It's just the start to finish with, I guess, the, the laps being checkpoints kind of thing. Except you don't need to, there's not, not actual checkpoints. It's just markers for how far in you are. More than anything else, got ice here. Which doesn't, oh, maybe it does feel slightly like ice. Okay. There's also a, a little shortcut thing there. Which I'm surprised you can even make in this CC. That's the first lap. This is a cool cave. Oh dear. <laughs> Missing everything right now. The water actually moves you slightly faster while you're going with the current. Okay. Warrior Dam. Go, 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 go. Oh, I missed that. Okay, this is kind of the third section. The start of it, at the very least. There's also a... thing up here we can take. A glider. Go, 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 go. Okay, and if we can get through these trees without bonking too much. This is the third lap. Final lap. Also, for some reason, when I heard this song for the first time, I thought it had, like, a kind of... I thought it was, like, super similar to, um... I can't remember what the galaxy's called, but from Super Mario Galaxy 2, the... The Rolling Rock Galaxy or something? I don't know. It's the one where you get the rock parrot. Anyway. Let's go through here. Getting as much boost as possible and going through these rings which also boost us just like that we're almost at the end you can see it right there so let's go let's 
So there we go. That was the Star Cup. I'm just going to skip that this time. It's it's just not really worth seeing. What is worth seeing is the way that the cups look. 90 coins. Just look at this. We can also spin it faster or slower depending on what we want. I think rotate it slightly. Yeah. Just look at that. It's so cool. Anyway. That was gold three stars because we got 60 points. Let's head back in. got the pipe frame, which I think is good. Maybe. Not that I've really used it. And let's go to the special cup. Cloud Top Cruise. which I believe has Gusty Garden Galaxy music as part of it. Also, the flying ships are really cool. Just look at them. There's something about the flying ships that are really satisfying to look at. And I want to see more of them in video games. Which I, I guess we kind of have in Mario Odyssey and... Bowser's Fury, just a little bit, except in Bowser's Fury they weren't really flying. Go through this cannon, into the Eye of the Storm, which the music changes a little bit for it, which is cool. We need to be careful of which boost pads we use because some of them will be get getting struck by lightning, which you can see just a few seconds beforehand when they're going to get hit. Uh, this giant block here is actually really cool because it's a question mark block and then it has the vine coming out of it. Because you, that's how the... Oh my goodness. Music. So good. The music is so good. But yeah, vine blocks are a thing in Mario games. Oh my goodness, items. Calm down. There goes the Mario Galaxy music. Man, it'd be so crazy to see a new Mario Galaxy game on the Switch. Like, I'm just imagining how it would look, because... Oh my goodness. The last Mario Galaxy game, like, new Mario Galaxy game that we got was on the Wii. Mario Galaxy 2. And that was basically the same as the second one, kind of. But now, just imagining two consoles later, what would it look like? And it's just like, probably something like this level. And now I just want it. Anyway, third lap, which means we don't really get to hear the Mario Galaxy music, sadly. Because it only plays at that sp specific spot. We might hear it again, close to the end of the track though, since this, the music's going faster now. Let's go. I don't know if we need a new Mario Galaxy game though. I mean, it'd be cool to see it. With everything, like, upgraded basically. But yeah, I don't know if it's gonna... I mean, Nintendo could make it work. As long as they try to, like, use Mario Galaxy kind of physics, but made it a new thing, I'm, uh, it could be good. Anyway, next race. Bone Dry Dunes. And there's a, a sand ship going through that the Toads are using, which is really cool. I mean, sand ships in general are just cool. 
like in um Scarlet Sword. Kind of, except it's not really a. Th oh, I guess it is. But anyway, as we go past them, they'll actually give us some coins onto the track, which they won't actually give it to us. I'll just put it on the track whenever they're going past. Pretty much. How are there so many character people way at the start? I don't understand. <laughs> Gotta avoid the dry bone prana plants. Got some of these boosts here we can use. Grab all those. Grab that. Now I feel like this bit here is very difficult in the fastest CCs. But right now it's very nice. Very smooth. Okay, it's so first lap. Just gonna drop these here. Send ships on the other side now. Not gonna give me coins? Okay then. I'm pretty sure they can give me coins there. But they just chose not to. Where do they go? They're gone. It's fine. It's so fine. Just gonna grab that. I'm gonna go the other way now. Which these kind of cross over here, but we can go over this way. Wish that the bombs were more useful in the first place. There we go. Just glide across here. Okay. There's the sand ship again. There's my bananas from last time. How did they get over there? Are there two sand ships? There's probably two sand ships. <laughs> because there's no way they could have gone all the way over here from the start that quickly. Okay, I see that blue shell. Need to not get too attached to my speed right now. Unfortunately. Go, 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 go. Oh. Ludwig is like kind of catching up, kind of, but that was when I was small. I think I'm going to be fine now, probably. There's also a little up a bit here that I don't even know when you're supposed to even use that ever. Because it's such a tight turn. Oh my goodness. I, I drifted the wrong way. Because you need to hold in the direction that you want to kind of drift opposite, I think. Something. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway. Well, that's that one. Let's move on to the next race. Bowser's Castle. Which is kind of similar to the Mario Kart Wii Bowser's Castle, but also very different at the same time. It's very cool looking though. Oh my goodness. Imagine if this was actually a Mario, like 3D Mario game or something. Or even a 2D Mario game. It would still be really cool. Oh, so what's interesting about this Mario Kart game is it's not even... Uh, it's not even a Switch, original Switch Mario Kart game. Because we haven't actually had a Switch Mario Kart game, other than the live circuit, whatever it is. Which are kind of counts, I guess. But anyway, just have to dodge Bowser punching the track, which makes it wobble, which is good for us if we want to get some boosts off of it. This is such a cool looking level. I don't have to worry about playing well at the moment because it's 50cc so I can just look at everything I wish I could change the camera though like I just tried to press up on the the right stick to move the camera anyway there's lasers there now at the beginning this is such a cool thing 
It's just so, so cool. And there's a flying ship. Also, the gigantic lava Bowser is really cool. Oh, where's... No. Please, no. No, no, no. No. Okay, I'm fine. That was close, though. Nearly got punched by giant lava Bowser. Also, when do I have to fight giant lava Bowser? In a video game. In a Mario game. Oh my goodness, my coins. My coins, they got stalled. But I've got a boombox thing now. So that works. If I get any reason to use it. Which I probably will. I feel like the game usually gives you a boombox kind of soon. Like, like knowing that it's going to give somebody... Never mind, and there it is. It's, it knows. The game knows when it's going to give somebody else a blue shell. I'm pretty sure. Okay, go, 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 go. Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? I don't think I can, but I think I can go around. Barely. Just wasn't the right timing to go through there, I don't think. But it worked out, so I'm fine. Not that I have much competition to worry about. Just have to dodge those boulders, and we're done. Oh my goodness, come on. Come on, lightning. We also haven't had a bullet bill because we haven't been that far back in the in anything. There's also the gold mushrooms that we could also have to make us go faster at the back, which we can use. It's also nice when you have a power-up that's um, uh, Rainbow Road. It's also nice when you have a power-up that has multiple uses because you can actually see around the edge of that item's frame, like a time, time going down, which will go down like, automatically, but also whenever you use it. And there's a few items that do that, but I haven't got to them yet. Because there's also a fire flower, which you can shoot a lot of shots at, which bounce around. And there's also a piranha plant thing that will chomp at things, like enemies and items and stuff. And that also boosts you as well. But anyway, Rainbow Road. It's got a lot of tight turns, which are really, really tough in 200cc. But this is 50cc, so we're, we're going to be fairly alright, except for the items. It's just so beautiful, though. This is probably the hardest um, Rainbow Road in the game, like in all the Mario Kart games. Uh, actually, no, scratch that. <laughs> there's, there's Super Mario Kart that exists. But this one's fairly, fairly difficult. Especially in faster CCs. There's a blue shell coming. Of course there is. It's also very nice to have it be kind of... I don't know. It's very kind of futuristic with the... Everything around this track. Because this track isn't like a rainbow road that just happened to appear in space because of magic. It's just, like, actually built by people, I guess. Or something. This, these two sides have swapped around. Which means that these have swapped around as well. Go through here. This is such a cool track. But also... It's 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 fairly nice now, but it's gonna be really difficult later on. It's like that hologram of the special cup there. Oh my goodness, what is happening? <laughs> Blue shells, why? It's only 50 cc game. Calm down. Just because I'm ahead of everyone doesn't mean you should give them all blue shells. Oops, all blue shells. <laughs> I 
go, 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 go. Okay, those just swapped around, which is actually good for us because we want to actually take the the left side pretty much every time since it's the upper area. Which is actually kind of optimal for going fast because we can also jump tracks a lot. I don't know if I can jump over here, but I think I can as well, but I... No, that was way off. But yeah, I think the that if you go straight through there, you can actually go faster, maybe, by jumping track. But it's not really that important at the moment, so... Let's just go. Oh my goodness, I forgot you can also horn in the game by pressing the left button. Just the regular left button. Anyway, every character has their own horn as well. So there we go. That's the special cup. On 50cc. Another thing unlocked. But there we go. That is it for now, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.